Hello, how's everyone doing today? I hope everyone's having a nice day, been able to get outside if the weather's good, work week's going okay, hopeful that all that's going well. And if it's not, then you should definitely make the sweet treats. Today we are making our dessert of the week. Magic cookie bars is what they're labeled by, uh, it's by Eagle Brand Condensed Milk, although that's not even, I'm using just the store brand. But they looked really good and I had some condensed milk I needed to use up before it expired. Um, and please note that I'm using kind of two thirds of everything uh, that they had because, yeah, I'd already used a little bit of the condensed milk for a different recipe a while back. But anyway, let's get started. It's time for another episode of Cooking with Caitlin. That's me. Enjoy. <laughs> We're going to food process some graham crackers for the base of our cookie. It's been kind of a food processor week in almost all our recipes. Food processor. Now this is the only part we're using this for. Alright, it'll be my own. you guys till we are done with that. Alright, so got ourselves our cup of that. That's six tablespoons of melted butter to mix in there. Get it all nicely mixed together. That'll be our kind of crust at the very bottom of it. And if you see, I've lined, here we go, I've lined a square pan. So again, I'm just doing two thirds because I had, I'd used right at a third of a 14 ounce can of uh, condensed milk. So I just made everything into the two thirds because I had two thirds left. So. If I'm doing 9 by 13, this is just, I believe, like a straight 9 by 9 one, and I lined it with foil, and I sprayed it with some cooking spray, or just some cooking spray, like, you know, so I'll be able to just lift it get out when it's done cooling after we bake it. Speaking of, oven is pretty heated to 350. All right, that's all pretty well mixed. So we're going to get it all out of there. Press it down evenly. There we go. So what fun activities have you guys been up to? Did anything kind of fall us? People getting their pumpkins. We were already a little while ago, or a week ago now. See some people in areas where they can go to like apple orchards and stuff. That is fun. I haven't been able to do that since I was in college. Oh, that would be fun. All right. Just got that all seat padded down very nice and evenly. Let me wash the crumbs off my hand. Alright, just right at two thirds of the 14 ounce, just like kind of nine ish ounces. And see, we're just going to get that out. It goes on top here, it's condensed milk. And it's kind of already just spreading itself out. Just by the nature of being in a liquid form at the moment. But we'll still make sure we get it all nicely spread. 
Not too difficult, thankfully. Be nice, easy recipes always, always good to have. All right, so we've got chopped pecans, about three quarters of a cup, about three quarters of a cup of the coconut, and we're gonna do about the same with our uh, semi-sweet chocolate chips. So I'm gonna just kind of eyeball them on there. I'm kind of doing the little layers throughout. Like, all right, here's a good little first sprinkling. All right, let's do that with coconut too. We'll see if it might be too much to overwhelm it. This might be too much of all the things that we want. Yeah. All right, kind of pressing that in there. I'm going to do a second lighter layer, some chocolate chips on the top, and some of our coconut, so I'll just cover everything. Kind of press it down and in. That's a pretty solid coating, which it feels like we do. I think we're good to go. All right, so it's probably closer to half a cup of pecans and half a cup of uh, the coconut. And then mm, I'd say if this is 12, probably use right up four ounces of the mini chocolate chips. And that's looking pretty good. Our oven is preheated. I start at 20 minutes on this to go anywhere from like kind of 20 to 30 with the nine. Set our timer and we will check back later. It's just coming on out. Look at that nicely browned. Oh, it smells so good, guys. All right, we're going to take it out and let it cool, and then we will cut it up. Yay. All right, we've let them cool for about 35 minutes. Lift them right out. Really easy cleanup on this. Now, just peeling it back. Grateful that we sprayed all our stuff. Kind of up, but we're gonna, gonna cut it up first. I'm just gonna do it squares. So easy. Alright guys, well, bon appetit. Catch you later.